True player from the Hemba Lake. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Drippy Hippie E N T. I'm your kind host. I go by the What's name of here? Justin Tom, aka Dripsy Hustle, Drip Van Winkle. It is the Dripster. Welcome back. This is the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe for your boy. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Follow the dream. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. I know you interrupt my intro again, Abigail. We're gonna have a problem. I know that. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother with your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, uh, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King, king Arthur. Yeah. And there's Sir Lancelot. Lancelot? Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Boy, Jack got big as shit, didn't he? Peaceful, Pop. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. But Abigail, she just implied that she can't read. here right I'm gonna go see what kind of good honest work I can find grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such me too see if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something right. man John and gave up the outlaw life trying to live the straight and narrow you dig it 
be a family man. That's what's up? Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Is that a wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Boy, got us a little job real quick. What's up? I guess we're not going to Headshot City much on the epilogue. We're going to be going to Hard Work City. Huh? <laughs> Mister? Hard work, work. Did I pass it? Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me Good too. Job. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> Man, John got the Arthur Morgan beard. You could dig it. Arthur Morgan, man. I'm still fucked up, man. I met Arthur, man. Hold up. To say, I really miss my wigger. Oh my god! He does it from. Oh my god! Rest in peace, Arthur. Forgot who he was talking to. I'm like Milton. Who the hell is Milton? <laughs> Man gave him that fake name. Slow it down, honey. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. I usually cut this stuff out, but uh, you know, we're gonna ride today. What's up, folks? How y'all doing out there, man? Hope y'all maintaining out there, staying strong, staying healthy, and everything. Definitely focusing on that mental health, staying mentally strong out there. You know how we do. Quick update I did tell y'all I was gonna get a, a gaming PC and bring you some game. PC games, but I'm gonna have to postpone that for a little while. Got some other things I need to handle in my personal life first. So in the meantime, got two new games I'm gonna drop on the channel: Ghost of Tsushima, as well as LA Noir, the classic Rockstar game. You already know how we do. So we're gonna have my hit y'all with that. Both of them games real, real soon. So stay tuned. Definitely lock in. If there's any games you wanna see, the brother. 
the dripster play on the channel definitely drop it in the comment section my brothers and sisters yes we're gonna do big big things this year Hallelujah. yes my brothers and sisters the devil is trying to keep us down he's trying to trying to trying to block us my brothers and sisters but that's what the devil does because the devil is an ugly person yes he's ugly and all he does is love ugly things yes but we're gonna walk by faith not by sight my brothers and sisters and we're gonna know that everything is gonna be all right Hallelujah. yes can i get a amen amen I am the Reverend Cleopas Bartholomew Jenkins, and I'm here to attest, my brothers and sisters, yes, the Lord is good, hallelujah. And if you believe in him, everything will be all right, hallelujah, yes. Walk by faith, my brothers and sisters, walk by faith. Just like my, my Just give me to what? Just like my mother used to tell me when I was a young child. She would pull me to the side, she would say, Bartholomew. 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 Son, the devil is going to show up in all kind of shapes and sizes and disguises my brother but he you cannot fall for his trickery son no you must be on your toes you must cross every t and dot every i yes you must be prepared when dealing with the devil believe in the lord he will make a way hallelujah yes my brothers and sisters let's continue on with our good brother here our good brother john marston but we are Jim Milton today, yes. We have to give the fake names because we know, you know, we used to be outlaws out here. We used, we used to live our life for the devil, yes. Now we're trying to walk straight and narrow. So we have to rid ourselves of those bad histories, yes. Bad pasts, my brothers and sisters, yes. <laughs> but we will forever be Drip Squad, hallelujah, yes. This is the house that we call Drip, yes. Preach, church, tabernacle. up on the ranch. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. Obviously. My wife. <laughs> that was a stupid question. She was in business question. with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy. Lancelot, we're all one. Wow. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Who's these fools? Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble. Yeah, fuck here. all that going easy shit, bro. I'm about to show him how Drip Squad get down, homie. Huh, Oh, hell no. I'm going to have to whoop on y'all asses. That's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Bunch of hearts. What the fuck wrong with you? What the hell wrong with these fools trying to steal my wagon, Tommy? Crazy? Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen. 
I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would've robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. Okay. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Good look. Okay, got us a little job. Got us a nice little setup where we can stay. Okay, that's what's up. Man, John trying to get settled into the into the regular life. Epilogue part one. Pronghorn Ranch. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Hey. Right. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the Wagon up moment, there? Sir. Oh, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we... Yeah, uh, man. It was like work, discuss though. this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. You're sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't yeah, want to worry. Not be happy oh, you know, yeah. So. I hear that. You got quiet, I mean. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected yeah, that's, that's us. Thank you, sir. Perfectly normal to call each other that. I think we can be <laughs> okay here. It's ranching work. This it's place there. is kinda. It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. I'm saying. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Get off my back, Abigail. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. Right. A one at that. When you I ain't got afraid to get my hands dirty, honey. hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Right. Want nothing. Don't let nobody steal nothing, nothing from you. Feel me? It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. 
No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Nowhere. Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been there so before, many but that was years ago. Oh, it's changed. The Pinkerton? The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it Bruh, too personal watch where you question, walking, homie. Are you a gunslinger, mister? What? Oh, good lord. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Nothing like that. I don't know what you're talking about, homie. Huh, Just a ranch <laughs> hand, then. Just yeah. a ranch hand. I'm just about hey, that hard work. Things, feel me? Like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Try not to pull them teats off. Now we're talking. Oh, I see what you mean. You are terrible. Hey, shut up, bro. Don't be judging me. Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Oh, hey. yeah, Lancelot. <laughs> We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. All right. Come on, son. Let's go. Jack, I mean Lancelot. <laughs> How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? <sighs> mm-hmm. I didn't hear you, son. You unhung me. Say yes, sir. You hear okay. me, boy? Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Start. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Let's get to it. All work. Boy, Feel me? Can't be afraid to get your hands over dirty. Here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Picking up shit. Okay. Hold on. Pooping, scooping, and shit. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, it splashes. Look out. This is a dog's work. I'm not feeling this, man. This is disgusting. Coming. Scooping up shit. Look at this horse shit. Washing 
He said, look at this horse shit. Why? I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Back, Jack, I mean, Lancelot. <laughs> Came a long way from, from shooting people. Now we out here picking up poop. <laughs> poop and scooping. <laughs> and milking cows and all that. Hey. Hey. What's up? Where's Jack? My food at. Shoveling shit. Pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some coffee on. Yeah, can't get no morning toppy toppy to something. Yeah. Morning wood. Simple pleasures, yes. Alright folks, we're in this episode right there. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is the epilogue. Please join me for the next episode. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe for your boy. Join the drip squad, folks. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Follow the dream. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Until next episode, as always. Stay drippy, my friends. Yes. Hey! Come back before I kick your ass. You ain't kicking shit.